So our next speaker is Sharon Lennon Fordham, and she's written five amazing children's books. And I've often told her that these are books that even adults could read because they're so good. Uh, but what's so powerful about her books is that they teach children about self-empowerment, self-confidence, and how to ask the right questions to solve a lot of problems that parents and children face today. So Sharon, I warmly welcome you and tell us all about this book that uh, we'll be doing all five books with her. And so I think we're doing ABC uh, Inspiration. So go ahead. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, like I said, my name is Sharon Lynn Fordham, and I am the author of a five book series entitled Addie B um, in Inspiration. And all of our books are written to enhance the children's mindset and to help them with their social development. Now, tonight's um, presentation will just be a brief introduction to uh, my book, ABC Inspiration. And that book was actually written to help children with their low self-esteem, uh, self-confidence issues, and even self-concept issues. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And this is just gonna be a brief introduction, like I said. And what I want to do is I actually wanna begin this short presentation with uh, a poem that actually um, inspired me to write this book. And this book, also, this poem also, come on. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't know if you've heard about it. It's called Thinking by Walter D. Wintle. And this, this poem actually helped me to understand that our life's experiences is actually mirrored by what we think, feel, or believe about our, ourselves. And um, Elizabeth, you mentioned in some of those other books how it talks about, uh, and you mentioned having faith. If you don't have faith, you there's nothing you can do. So this this is um, the 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 road that I'm trying to go down in, in helping children. Um, believe and, and have more self-confidence. So um, this is the poem and I'll make it quick. It's my favorite poem in the whole world, Thinking by Walter D. Wintle. Uh, if you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you think if you'd like to win, but you think you can't, it is almost certain you won't. If you think you will lose, you'll lose. For out in this world we find success begins with a fellow state. It's all in a state of mind. If you think you are outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win the prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or late, the man who wins is the one who thinks he can. Now, I really wish that I had learned about this poem years ago, decades ago, ago before I went through all the trial and errors of, of life, you know, so I thought to myself, what if we begin teaching children early on about self-concept and believing in themselves? So that is why I decided to write the book, ABC Inspirations. And what this book does it, help, it allows us to address self-concept and teach children um, at an early age about positive thinking while learning the alphabet at the same time. And what I did is I went ahead and I just pulled uh, of just a few pages from my book. Um, so let me go ahead and get that. And here we go. F, fun. Your life is meant to be fun, filled with love and laughter. Every moment is precious, just like you are, little one. Have fun with your life. L. Love. Love is the most beautiful word in the world. And you know what? You are loved by so many people. Your family and friends care so much about you. Your life will be amazing because love will carry you all the way through it. N, never. The only way you can become the best in life is to never give up on yourself. If you fall down, get back up again. If you've tried to do something and it doesn't work, 
Try again. Never give up, little one. Things will become easier if you never give up. P. Perfect. Do you know that you are perfect just the way you are? You are the only one who can be you because you are perfectly created. And those are just a couple of the pages that you would um, find in my book, uh, both print. The book is available in print and in interactive ebook uh, formats. It can be purchased on Amazon and on my website, which is addieb123.com. And the takeaway from this, this book is empowered with words of inspiration and encouragement, your child will not have to seek validation of self-worth from the outside world. They can um, just equip with this, this information. They'll begin to look within themselves because they have the tools and the knowledge necessary to understand that they can do whatever they want in life. Um, they'll believe in themselves. And that's my book. Very good. Let me go ahead and, and share. Thank you. Let me stop sharing. I just wanted to make that brief. I didn't have a whole lot of time. <laughs> yes. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Claire. Adults need this book. <laughs> it's all right. It's not just for the children, as well as grown folk, too. Thank you. Really? It's uh, it's really um, awesome. I've had a lot of feedback where um, a lot of people um, ordered the the ebook format and they were able to just play it even to a small child, like a year old, while even while they slept, you know, to get it in their subconscious, so to speak. But I, I believe that um, it has to be taught early on and, and it'll save them a lot of headache throughout life. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. It is. Thank you. I'd love to see a teenage version of that. I have four teenage granddaughters and they could all use messages like that. That's yes. Great. And the good thing is when they start small and early, they'll become teenagers and already have that instilled within them. So I try to <laughs> I try to start er as early as possible because it's important, you know. It's important in life to, to believe in yourself and to know that you can do whatever, that this life is, this world is full of um, opportunities. And a lot of things that hold us back is that we don't believe that we are able to do that. As adults, we believe that, you know, but starting, and like I said, if you start this early on, it'll become second nature and a child will be empowered with the knowledge and information to know that they can do anything, that nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. Because we live in a land of impossibility. <laughs> Karen, uh, I think she kind of dropped, hopefully dropped in your spirit what she was saying. And I'm saying as well, she has the teenagers and I'm saying the grown folk, they didn't get it when they were young. So you need to go back to write that book for us teenagers. <laughs> I think she, is that what you're saying, Susie? Yeah. So, yes. yes. We're Can teenagers. I we're we're older, but we're still got back to so, <laughs> yes. teenagers. <laughs> and I and I totally agree because, like I said, I wish that I had known this decades ago. That someone had introduced me to that. Oh, there's my other book. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Too just today, I was reading or listening. Actually, um, they were talking on the no news. There's a court case in England, um, a young girl, 12 years old, took her own life. Mm -hmm. And there is a connection between that and what she was seeing on social media. Mm -hmm. And I think when they don't have that internal security in the sense they know who they are, it makes them so much more vulnerable, vulnerable. to those external um pressures and people telling them things and and making them feel less than they need to be mm -hmm. so, um, I was told my grandchildren and I still tell them I say they're fearfully and wonderfully made 
because yes. God made them. Yes. <laughs> You that's know, right. so and so that's that's a good thing. I was a school librarian before I stepped down, so I love books. I'm always was always looking for books and books that taught beyond the book itself that they gave something that they could apply to their own lives, and um, it's a good book. Awesome, Jerry. Two question: mm -hmm. Do you foresee yourself continue writing for children? Absolutely. And um, well, actually, I've, I've begun writing um, a novel for adults. Wonderful. Yes. yes and I what have. is the age group of your five books? Uh, for all of them are a little different, like um, ABC Inspiration can be, you can read this to a child, I mean, at, at birth, at because, birth. Uh -huh. yeah, I mean, you you can start hammering that right away. My book, Billy the Bully, uh, could go all the way up to 12 years of age. You know, um, um, uh, My Place in the Sky, I've got, I'm thinking about all my books I have. My Place in the Sky is from um, ages five, uh, five to eight years old, around okay. five to eight years old. Great. And um, Teach Me Safe Touch, Don't Touch, that is the book uh, to have in that book is actually um, meant for an, an adult to read uh, to a small to child. child. I listened to your interview and it was dynamic. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have children? I didn't hear about you, the, the interview, yes. but do you have children? Yes, I do. Uh, I actually have uh, three adult children and five grandbabies. And um, I won't want actually, them, you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had a birthday and I'm trying to tighten my face so you won't see the drink. <laughs> well, yes. that's great. So you Thank have you. grandchildren. Good. They, they uh, inspire me. And um, I really, I, I, I went through a lot as a child and it, I made it my business, my, my goal to, um, to do something, to put something out there that way my, my grandchildren and not have to suffer the way that I suffered growing up. Each Are book you, that I wrote is um, inspired by my own personal experiences actually as a child. Ooh. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Commendable, commendable. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's, and it's probably been somewhat therapeutic yeah. for you too. Um, since it's been based on some of those challenges you went through, mm -hmm. being able to write down those books and and share that. So yes, yeah, yes. Thank you. You did an award, didn't you, for one of the books? Yes, for uh, Billy the Bully was awarded the uh, Mom's Choice Award and also received a five star from Reader's Favorite. And that is something. Congratulations! That I Thank you so much. That is definitely something that I suffered uh, all throughout my childhood years, being bullied, being bullied. So I, I needed to do something. I understand a long-term negative effect that it could have, you know, on a child. And, and it, it follows you all the way into adulthood. Cool. And not just with the book, um, Billy the Bully, but the Teach Me Safe Touch, Don't Touch with child sexual abuse. Yeah, you know, um, my place in the sky with friendship. I struggled in that area as well as a child. You know, being picked on a lot. Um, so I just wanted to do something um, different. Um, ABC inspiration because I did um, suffer with low self esteem all the, all the way through childhood, and it still actually affects me now. Believe it or not, you know, I just I'm just a lot more aware. So uh, my intention and my goal is to help any child every child, if I can help save at least one child from going through what I went through as a child, that's my goal. And that's now, the purpose of the Addie B one, two, three book collection. That's wonderful. Uh, Sharon will be on on October the 13th at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have some experts. Uh, we did do a cybersecurity conference uh, that in Goldsboro, we had Seema Johnson, the head of the security department, department to show up and I'll try and bring some of them because cybersecurity bullying is a big topic so yes. we'll have some we'll have Sharon present and then I'll have some people to back her up uh, to talk about the importance of this 
um, we, we try and get um, Patricia Burden to get us some people from the school board as well, mm-hmm. because this is this necessary. This is not like we're just doing this. And as business owners, uh, if you are aware of good policies and you're running a business that's really good, no matter how small you are or how big you are, you are contributing to the world because we have enough greedy people in the world. We have enough capitalist people in the world. So we at least can do our part by following this. I encourage everybody to join Sharon's session. She's going to be offering a challenge this week, and I'm trying to figure out her, what we can challenge you with. But one of the things I want everyone to do is to take her flyer, which we are designing, uh, and go to your library and get the librarians to put these books in the library. Uh, so if everyone does that, 21 libraries, then Sharon has got into 21 libraries. So uh, one of the goals that Sharon and I will be working on is how do we get her books into the libraries? And I think that's a good start, Sharon. If we can get 100 libraries by Christmas, uh, you know, awesome. more people can read more people can read the book. So I think yes. it's doable. So let's get these librarians to get the book. So yes. thank you for watching Bright Side Global Trade TV. And if you like Sharon's books, like we say, always buy the book, snap a picture and put it in the comments so that we know that you loved her books as much as yep. we do. And her books will be on our reading list from now until Christmas and maybe January. So we want to encourage you to buy her books. Um, uh, whether you want to buy it for your own children, your grandchildren, your nieces, or get it into the library. And if you can get her books into the library, we'll give you two free tickets to our next show. So make sure that you get that. So thank you for watching. And uh, this is the last week if you want to get into the challenge as well. So uh, just get in touch with me and I'll make sure my contact information is available. And don't forget to subscribe, brightsideglobaltrade.org. Thank you.